Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've made a video, but this is one that you're going to really enjoy. It's finally time to introduce Google Calendar's new design, Fully Material. Hope you're ready to see it. Here we go. Here you see the full week view. Look, at it. it's got great colors. It just looks so much more manageable, much more easy to, to navigate and to use. You have, you could switch days right here by just clicking on the, the calendar here. If you click on it twice, it brings you to the day view, which is pretty nice. Click here, it brings you, click. If you, once you're in day view, it keeps you in day view, which is eh, a little annoying. Here's your schedule look. It's kind of, I think that it's like an agenda view. Here is, um, we saw the day view, month view. It's still a little busy, but, and you still can hover over, but to get a description, but it's still material and much more nicer to, to look at. I don't actually use the uh, the month view. So year view <coughs> it doesn't give you any indication of what days have it, have an event, but oh well, um, not really. I don't really use the year view ever. Never have. And here's my custom view. I have my custom view for six days, um, so it shows you six days instead of uh, a full week. Um, you can toggle weekends, but not in that view. Let me go back to the um, month view. I see I don't have weekends. I'm going to show weekends. And now you have the weekends. Uh, go back to week view. And you can also set it to show your declined events. Uh, I never really used that feature, but it's still here. Um, you can add calendars right here with the plus pretty easily. Same options. Um, here's your calendars on this side, all that you that are yours, and here is all the ones that you subscribe to. You can lots of different color options you have. You can even customize the color options or just put in a hex code. Um, same goes for all these. You could also go right to the settings just for that calendar, which you'll see here um, brings me directly to the test calendar that I'm using um, and the settings specific to that. Uh, I can change the name. I can change what the um, time zone. I can export it. Um, and then there's general settings, which are your, um, which expands to, you, you can just scroll down to see them all, or you can click each section. So you've got your language and region, you've got your time zones. I happen to use two different time zones because I have family that are in California. Um, and I also like to know what's going on on the other side of the country. Uh, you could show a world clock. Speedy meetings, which would takes 10 minutes off. And if you notice down here, you'll see the settings save immediately, uh, which is a nice, nice feature. Um, all the different settings for um, the invites. So the, what, what a guest can do, if it's automatically uh, adding the invitations, notifications, I'm using the uh, browser notifications because I hate being nudged uh, plays a sound. I do not have the automatically add hangouts. A lot of these settings are the same um, as in the classic calendar. It's just the way everything looks. Uh, so you could still change your custom view to whatever you want that given the options, not anything you want. Um, Events from Gmail are still here. Um, adding in calendars, very similar. Importing and exporting, um, very simple. Um, and then each individual calendar has settings. Um, so I could 
said, if it, if I make it available to public, I, I don't do that. I can add all my notifications, what, to, what kind of notifications I'm going to get. Um, they didn't change this though. You're still going to get your daily agenda at five o'clock in the morning. Um, and let's go back to the calendar and we'll show how to add an event adding an event just single click you can add the title i hold on i'm going to add the put the reminders back so now i can choose between event or reminder just like put in the date i can pick the start time end time and date if it's different, which calendar I'm putting it in. And more options would bring up the bigger. Um, so I could put the location, all everything here. Uh, description is nice because it's all you can format the description now. Um, so you can make things bold, underlined, some good formatting options, uh, basic, simple ones. You can change the color of this uh, calendar and event. Uh, if it's all day, repeating schedule, um, custom repeat, it's much easier to, to fill out and look at. Um, I'm not going to put this one. I'm going to discard this. And we'll, um, you could also, it's got the floating action bar, which you might hear referred to as the FAB, floating action button, not bar. And that brings you up to the big um event edition um, that's you can't add a, a reminder this way the only way you can add a reminder is single click and do and choose reminder um, there are you can hide the whole left to make it bigger and i really think they did a excellent job on making the redesign and every it seems like everything is there that was in the old one plus some nice new additions um please let us know in the comments how you feel what you if you like it uh, make sure you subscribe to this video uh, subscribe to my channel share this video let all your friends know and uh, thank you for watching